Hello YouTube, welcome back to my playthrough of Undead Nightmare. I hope that you guys are enjoying this series. If you are, do drop a like, it does help out the series. Let's continue where we left off. So, in this part, we're gonna see one of the creepiest, um, of the weirdest cutscenes in the same time. Hey mister. Hey Park. You seen a couple of deputies nearby? Marshall's boys, Jonah and Eli. Are they Jews, mister? They sound like Jews. What? I don't like, know. Like, the first what? time that I played Why? this, I was like, what? This whole thing is nothing but a Jewish plot. You do know that, don't you? I find that highly unlikely, amigo. Well, I don't like Jews. Or colored folk. Or natives, now that you mention it. Well, you're a nice, kind-hearted man to meet in a time of trouble. Kind does not come into it. Why? What are you talking about? Why? I bet you like Catholics. I can't stand them neither. My God, Nor it's... women. Fabians, socialists, homosexuals, Asians, or British. Between them, they've ruined this country. Ruined it. It was a good country once. Now people are eating each other, and it's all the fault of the Jewish, British, Catholic, homosexual elite and their ideas. Well, I, for one, won't stand for it. Have you ever met a Jewish person? <laughs> Thankfully not. Or a British Catholic homosexual? Not in my store. Oh, I, I get it. I see you acting clever. Well, let me tell you this. The Jews killed Lincoln. That's why there is a triangle on the money. And they run oh my God. Europe like one of them Arabian harems. Now they've sent this here plague to kill all us decent folk. Yep. You, sir, are truly a remarkable fella. Thank you kindly. I must say, it's a rare pleasure to meet someone with such a grasp on human history. You take care of yourself. I'd hate to see you get savaged by someone and watch the life force drain from your hate-filled body. Uh, hey, hold on there. Why don't you join me in my fight, sir? It's not too late. I fear it is for me. Then I will fight them alone. All of them. America is the land of the free. And that means free to people like me. Herbert. Means Moon. free for everyone. Absolutely. No. Oh, no, no. No. Okay. Yeah, and um, I don't know how you can possibly run a store and yet hate everyone. How would you even do business? But yeah, that's why um, when I was playing Red Dead Redemption 1, that's why I was saying Herbert Moon is like the nastiest character in the entire game. Okay, I have to find Jonah and Eli here. I'm just sorry it had to be that way. Hello, boys. Marshall sent me and needs some help. Guess you got other plans. Seriously, enjoy your meal, no problem. Easy now, gentlemen. Remember all the fun times we had? Pretty good. Never seen you two move so fast. I gotta go tell the marshal now about it. Hope I can get a new handgun soon. Hello, 
John. Hello, Marshal. So, you find the boys? I found them. I understand. I hope it was fast for them. It was fast. And they died with their bellies full. Well, one of them did. Good. That there's Jonah's gun. Here, you keep it. After all, you earned it. Thank you. <sighs> Take care of yourself, John. You too, Marshal. Wonder what that is over there. We're gonna check it out in a moment here. under attack. Yeah, the runners are just, um... Yeah, those runners get a little annoying. New safe house unlocked too. Uh, get back in that hole, partner. Okay, let's get over there then. Come on. like perfect weather for Undead Nightmare right now. Stormy weather in the desert.
I, I think they're just gonna keep coming infinitely until we burn all the graves. Okay, now we clear this graveyard out. The thing about the Volcanic Pistol is, this is a lever-action pistol. This is a real pistol that existed back then, but it's such a bad design. A lever-action in a pistol. The design of it really never took off. I think it was a pretty expensive gun as well. got here, uh, well, we got a town right next to us, too. Uh, let's go clear out that next town, then. Let's go. Definitely not as swarming as the other one. Trying to get up. There we go. Clear. And we got a Springfield rifle. Nice. Okay. Cool. Uh, I guess we'll clear out Tumbleweed now. Let's go! 
Tumbleweed's already been abandoned, so curious what it's gonna be like with the zombies. Uh... Don't know why they never made an Undead Nightmare Part 2, or Red Dead Redemption 2. Everyone, you know, there were so many people that were assuming it was gonna come out, Undead Nightmare 2, or Red Dead 2, but it never happened. I wonder who the boss is going to be in this part. Um... I forgot that you can go in this church in, um, in this game. In, uh, in Red Dead Redemption uh, 2, you couldn't go in there. Buried in 1911 in this cemetery, that means that that Tumbleweed was inhabited only up until a few months before Red Dead Redemption uh, 1, which takes place in 1911. Okay, I gotta return to Seth. Uh, but now we're gonna see, um... We're gonna go and meet, uh... Uh, Nigel West Dickens, because I remember that his t um, his snake oil, I think, uh, it does a lot of damage against the zombies. Surprisingly, like, his scamming snake oil actually comes in handy for something. Horse, come back up. Let's go see Mr. Yeah. Dickens, then. Let's go! Open the gate! Well, people are very trusting, definitely in the apocalypse. Oh. You're gonna be okay. Step right up! Step right up! Don't be shy now. Don't be shy. Nature confounds us, but science saves us. That's the truth, sir. That's the truth. West Dickens. Patented tonic. The only 100% original, 200% guaranteed cure against the undead stalking this earth. It not only brings health and fitness to the sick and needy, it repels the undead and saves souls. Why, it's a natural miracle. And it's available now, here, at the low, low price of only 100 solid gold coins. That sounds expensive, but what price eternal damnation? <laughs> you, sir, you look healthy. Would you like to give it a try? Me, sir? 
Yes, sir. Would you care to demonstrate the undead defeating possibilities of this patented elixir? No, sir, I would not. What I would like is for you to stop peddling this nonsense right now. 100 gold coins? Well, what price would you pay for survival? <laughs> you tell me, Mr. West Dickens. You tell me. Well, since you put it that way, um, why don't all you chaps Yeah, John's take tired of helping him with his scams. Now, and uh, if you like it, when you like it, uh, you'll know where to find me. Uh, you won't find any undead around me. <laughs> take it, enjoy. <laughs> Thanks a lot, John. These people have lost their families. They've lost everything. Well, that's not my fault. I'm just trying to make an honest living here. No, you're not. Well, uh, okay. But can I help it if demand is high? High? I'm offering the people hope, John. That's a precious commodity. The tonic really works. <laughs> These poor, awful undead creatures can't stand it. <laughs> Come here. Take a look. Yeah, it works. Works like a charm. Uh, well, it wasn't quite what I expected. Stuff is like catnip to those bastards. Uh, well, I'm, I, I need more desert sage and uh, violet snowdrop, and then I know I can cure this foul plague. Okay, back to doing your dirty work, am I? Yeah, well, don't be like that. Don't you remember the good times? Please? I'm an old man! All right. Here. Take it. Maybe you can use it to attract some of them. Okay. I'll see what I can do. And thanks. I'm sure this will come in real handy in case I want to meet some new and interesting friends. <laughs> mm. Interesting. So, uh, find five desert sage and gap two for it, and five violent snow, uh, snowdrop in the, um, okay. That will, uh, lure the undead to a location, okay. Okay, gap two for it is, like, right here, okay, um. Oh, we got another, um, another mission right there. Okay, let's go over there and check out what's going on then. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. I was trying to climb down, but... Undead bait. So, yeah, this will, um... This will lure them to the, uh... To the tonic. So, the tonic actually has the opposite effect, where it attracts the undead. Okay. It's actually probably a pretty safe place, but it'd be hard to get down once they're around you. Um, okay. Oh, God. Okay. When they're on fire, at least they die eventually.
make every bullet count, right? Tied up zombie? Oh, no, no, save me, save me. Come here, camera, come closer. You okay, mister? Oh, oh, Mr. Marston. Well, I might have guessed you wouldn't have got the lurgy yet. Not yet. I'm trying to help my family. Yes, quite the hobby of yours, that. Sure. Listen, any idea what the hell's going on here? No. But it's brilliant. Man turned against man. Kind-hearted neighbors turned into savage, flesh-eating monsters. <laughs> Do you see it? It'll make a fantastic movie. <laughs> Who oh, would already enjoy does. That? What? What Who kind of sick that? person would like that? My kind sir. The lowest common denominator. My people. You're gone, friend. On the contrary, sir. You misunderstand me. Come now, you're a smart fellow. Allow me to illuminate. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Marston. What I need is one of those nasty buggers that spits poisonous snot on you. If in your travels you can find a spare one, we can make moving picture history. You're worse than they are. Each to their own, Mr. Marston. But if you find the time... <sighs> Capture a rep, re, uh, re, retcher from Gap to Fridge and bring it back to Mac. Um, I think that he's a stranger that you meet in the regular base game. I just haven't done the stranger missions yet. I'm gonna do them with Jack once I beat this game. Uh, Come on. The ones that spit at you, they, well, those shouldn't be too hard to find, though. And we can check for the flowers that we need to. Uh... Uh, okay, collect five violent snowdrop, okay, survivors, um, This guy is a um I, I think this guy's you. Come and join me. Yeah, this no there was a pretty no creepy way. encounter. 
The guy was a, um, uh, the guy was a cannibal already. So he ate people even before the zombies existed. Again, let's see. Uh, five desert sage. That's one. Okay, well we got one. There's flowers up there, but can't get up there right now. Okay. Yeah, it's like the game just gets way more creepier when you're up. Uh, uh, Desert Sage, another one, perfect. Okay, so it's like a purple flower. house here, but is there anything even worth finding in there? No, it doesn't look like it. And the red shirt, those would be like the things that like spit at you. Uh, I mean, I guess they shouldn't be that hard to find. Uh, right there, we'll find one. Come on! I forgot that the animals can be zombies too. Uh... here then. what I've been after. Come on! 
Okay, this is gonna be the last flower that we need here in this area. Now we're just gonna need to find the retcher. You little beauty. Glad they had a lot of the random encounters to this game also on a um on Undead Nightmare. On. They created their own unique random encounters. Okay. Looking for the ones who spit. Oh, there's one. Damn, go away. Was that an undead armadillo? Look how the zombies just patiently wait for me to, to tie up that up. Oh my god. The, the zombie wolves are the most annoying. Another one. Dead animals are even more un annoying than the undead. Okay. Thank you. Uh, okay, you know what? Just forget this. First, I'm gonna kill all the zombies. Oh my god, another wolf. getting ridiculous now like I I can't even catch a break I'm just okay hang on I got an idea here I got a better idea to deal with this, this nonsense it's like they just keep coming and I Dead, so they're not gonna die if I do this.
Gotta get out of this area. Okay, get into the horse. Carrying this thing, worrying it's gonna bite your back. Right, we're out of here. Okay. Okay, now let's get over back to him. Out of the way. This is already gonna end in disaster, I, I know it. Raw base emotion. The fire that connects us all. Don't die for this in Paris. I see art has got the better of you. Stupidity got the better of me, but I felt I should help an old friend. I appreciate that, sir. Are you ready to watch the creation of magic? If you say so. Wonderful! Let's put the star into his first scene. Right over here. You can put him down here. Oh, oh, oh. He's in the <laughs> Lovely, lovely. No, this is great, great. Movie making history, my friend. Uh, uh, there you go, my man. Out. There we are. This is a terrible idea. And ready, ready, ready. I see you. You're going to be stars. Do something interesting now. Ah! And action! Zombies, go! Oh, your hands are eat you and flesh. Oh, that's right, that's right. Oh, oh! Oh, oh! anything in this chest back here oh no i can't even open it but yeah that was that was just stupid uh, i knew that was gonna go wrong i remember i did these missions a long time ago but i just didn't remember how that one particularly ended uh, but yeah that was not gonna go well like john said uh but um thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this part i'll have the next part for you guys as soon as i can thank you for watching take care everyone have a wonderful day guys